The PowerSpec Extreme X600 high-end desktop PC requires regular maintenance to ensure proper operation. Micro Center recommends bringing your system to the service desk. However, for those of you who want to be more involved in doing it yourself, we'll show you how. Filling a water cold loop can be nerve wracking, but with the proper precautions, it's actually quite easy. Please be mindful that Micro Center is not liable for any damages that may occur during this procedure. Ensure that every fitting and adapter is properly tightened to prevent leaks. Place several layers of paper towels or small cloth towels under your CPU and GPU blocks for added protection. Use a power supply bridge plug on your 24 pin power supply cable. This allows the power supply unit to turn on your pump without giving power to your motherboard. This is an important step as it prevents permanent damage that may occur in the case of a leak. Start by filling your reservoir with coolant. Once you've filled it to the top of the reservoir, flip the power switch to the on position and watch for coolant to drain into the loop. Quickly turn the power off once the coolant has reached near the bottom. Add more water and repeat this process until the water no longer drains, but stays level. Add just enough coolant to reach the top or near the top of your reservoir. Monitor your connections closely and stop filling immediately if you see a leak. Leave the pump running for several hours to test the loop for any leaks that may occur over a period of time. If your pump makes a bit of noise, plug your reservoir and tilt your case to get rid of any air bubbles trapped in the radiators and lines. Please be very careful when tilting your case and be mindful that Micro Center is not liable for any damages that may occur during this part of the process. The X600 comes with dyes that change the color of your coolant. They come in red, green, and blue. With the system powered off, remove one of the reservoir plugs and carefully add in a few drops of dye at a time. Run the system for a few minutes to allow the color to mix properly. Continue adding a few drops at a time until you get the color that's perfect for you. This completes the process of filling and adding dye to your loop. For instructions on how to drain your loop, check out the link at the end of the video. Be sure to check out the rest of BitsPower's catalog at bitspower.com. Thanks for watching and come visit us at your local Micro Center or visit us online at microcenter.com.